welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links are in the description box down below. So let's get into this reading. So what I was getting was somebody wants to send you a message. So you're about to receive a message, an email, a text message, uh, um, envelope in the mail. Somebody is like writing love letters. And this is like, um, cause I'm getting the vibe of like old school times. Like it wasn't a DM or maybe it might be a DM. It, well, but it wasn't a DM back then is what I mean. It was a love letter folded up. Do you like me? Yes or no. Um, so somebody thinks that you are, uh, like, um, old school, old school type vibe. And so that's what they want to do. They want to send you a love letter. Excuse me. It could also come in the form of, uh, cause I'm getting like songs. So somebody might write you a song or something, but definitely somebody wants to send you a message. Okay. So wow and it's right there um so definitely somebody wants to send you a message the other vibe that i was getting because now it just went somewhere different i'm getting a love vibe but somebody sending you a message also means like on the flip side of that somebody that is trying to send you a message so somebody doing something wrong your pathway is clear somebody could be 35 or 53 somebody trying to intercept you along your journey along your pathway um because like I said, somebody wants to send you a message of love. Cause wow, I didn't even see that. Okay, lovers, lovers card being there. Um, somebody wants to send you a message of love, but sending a message also means something else. So there's an undertone to the situation. But all I was getting was somebody wants to send you a message. So you have a wealthy man um, that wants to let you know how they feel about you. Somebody's birthday may be March 13th, March the 4th. Um, March 15th or March 7th, March 6th or March 7th. Um, somebody could be 51 years old. Somebody could be 31 years old. Somebody could be 35 years old or 37 years old. 51 or 53, okay, or 57. Those numbers being significant or important potentially be dealing with uh somebody whose birthday is in june or july gemini or cancer and an aries you could be dealing with another water sign or aries also all right so let's see what this reading is so somebody wants to tell you how they feel about you um matter of fact okay i feel like all right, I'm going to pull two cards from here because for some reason, um, I want the white, the other cards right there. All right, so, um, High Priestess, what does Pisces need to know at this moment in time? What does Pisces need to know about this moment in time? All right, so, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, so we're gonna do this, this, and this, leave that there. Um, okay, so a wealthy man, a wealthy energy. Um, this is abundance, a blessing, okay? Um, could be you or them. Wealthy is basically talking about money. So this person is a little caked up, um, could be an investor. It's giving me maybe stocks, bonds, a uh, banker, accounting, um, and when I say like, um, cause uh, what is that Forex or something or cryptocurrency, because a lot of people started investing. So, um, in real estate or, uh, I don't know something that's saying FSS or something. I don't know what the hell that is, but anyway, um, somebody that's in money. All right. So y'all figure it out either way also i'm hearing like whenever like ppp and all that stuff came out that's when the person got wealthy so it was a time for somebody to level up um so they may have used leverage their company or they may have just used got money from that or something i don't know um 
damn okay so i just heard somebody doing banking fraud and some other stuff so hopefully they ain't got it like that but i you know either way this is a wealthy person i don't feel like it's no criminal intent but also i did just say there was an undertone to the message also so i don't know what this person got going on but this person is giving me like they well connected all right um so then we got high priestess that was the first card that came out so why well, i got this like this let's rearrange all right because i'm only leaving at 10 of um pentacles here because again there's money and so for some reason this person also knows that you being involved in their life is definitely a blessing okay so it brings in wealth it brings in abundance so you may not have what this person has or the person may not have what you have depending upon who i'm talking to but either way there's a, a wealth when y'all get together a connection that brings in abundance so this is another reason why this person is like seeking you because I, I hear the word seeking this person is seeking you um so high priestess energy being there into intuition sacred knowledge so you could potentially be feeling this person or know this person is around so somebody wants to take you on vacation um this person also is sending you sex vibes just so you know Whatever this is, because then it's like strength. Be strong. Well, why, why you got to be strong in a situation? Because I'm feeling like the person is giving you like they're, the, they're going to come on strong. Um, and you may be looking at this person a little bit. But also, this person may have been going through karma because that's a karmic cycle at the top of that person's head. Uh, eight is a continuous thing. Um, I'm getting a vibe like you having to help this person for something. Because like I said, there's wealth and abundance that comes along with you and this person. Um... Mm -mm. trust your own counsel first so listen first and foremost trust your intuition when it comes to this person secondly also i'm not getting a bad vibe behind this person but i feel like there's gonna have to be some type of contract here or something between you and this person redefine print because you know but again, I feel like this person wants to offer you something and they're going to act like maybe an overbearing boss or something like that. Like, but this person totally is in love with you. So the vibe is that they're going to come off as if they're needing you to work here or something or needing you to do something. So whatever skill you have... Well, I hear that, like somebody saying, don't be telling my business. <laughs> so that might be an NDA or something. You might have to sign an NDA for a person or something. But either way, um, or you may be the person having them sign an NDA. Again, because for some reason, I feel like the person is like kind of looking into your life or something. Um, and they're going to come off as if I want it to be like uh, a work relationship or something else. But the person is only doing it to get you close to them. So, but they want you to, they're going to be like getting you to travel with them. Um, you're going to be, it's giving me beauty and a beast vibes. Cause like how he said, he was really kidnapping her, but he said, I'll take you to your room. And you have a room in a mansion. Meanwhile, I'm really kidnapping you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I, I don't know. Um, this person could be like something like into because I gave you all them, but this says social worker, but it's giving me the vibe like this person may manage some people um, or what is that called? So maybe the person could be in like um, entertainment or something because this person is coming off as like manager vibes or, you know, they man or whoever, wherever they work at, they basically are top of the line, but they stay on their shit. So that's the other thing about this person. This person is giving me very thorough. Like, um, when they go through stuff, that's the reason why certain things had to happen. It had to go through like this because they had, uh, there's meditation. So a person may, you know, have been thinking about it. What should I do? How do I get this done? Um, we got graphic design here so something or web development so whatever if they own a company like that their initials may be m um we got they want to be exclusive with you so that's also why i'm saying look jackpot being there the person feels like they hit the jackpot with you or there's a jackpot pertaining to this because literally this person is about to give you an offer that you cannot refuse because they they need your energy to them to buy them they want you to just be with them 
um and as y'all know this reading is not for everybody but whoever this is for somebody because literally i was i'm cooking something and all i kept hearing was somebody trying to send you a message and so that's why i'm back here again okay because somebody wants to send you a message so this is the damn message all right um the person wants to be exclusive with you um they feel like they hit the jackpot with you and your behavior. So they're studying well. If they're going to give you an offer that you cannot refuse because this person wants you with them doing whatever it is that they do. And again, they're going to act like this is a work situation. This is not a work situation. That's just what they're doing to get you close to them. Okay. Um, they want to know how you're going to act in this situation. Like, how are you going to act when you get a right like when they pull up on you with this offer how are you going to act because i'm getting a vibe like this person don't get told no but they're afraid that you're going to be you could potentially tell them no because i'm gathering that you're not the energy that this person is used to because people are always like probably giving into this person or just um falling at this person's feet because of what they do like this person is not used to nobody telling them no um we have initials could be w here um, look at this. We got message in a bottle. So literally somebody trying to send you a message. Yes. So again, message here again. Um, so somebody wants you to basically like. It's giving me a, again, beauty and the beast vibes. I'm going to give you a room in my house. I need you to come live here. So this got to be for somebody that don't got kids because the way they get ready to propose it is like a offer, like a business proposal is the way it's about to come off. So they want you to come and live with them though. Um, something about studio is here or something about apartment or, you know, maybe it's like a, a pet house or something like that, but, or that's the studio. So a studio, like, again, cause it's giving me like a person is a manager or some type of, um, so it could be entertainment, so it could be music, like studio or something of that nature. But either way, this person is definitely like a boss boss. Um, we got Argentina here, significant or important. Um, this person could be a Gemini. This person is calling you honey. Didn't I say something about a penthouse? Like penthouse vibes, okay? So um, somebody wants to know where you at, so looking for you and can we talk? Listen, I don't know who this is, but um, y'all listen. When this offer show up, I don't know what you're going to say or what you're going to do, but it's giving me like um, you could potentially end up with a new car from this person for you to be a, get around, booked and busy. This person could potentially like white liquor, shots, um, again, but this is work. This person is totally crazy about you, calling you Miss Pretty. Um, they're so attracted to you. Um they know they can't fuck with you in real life. So apparently other people have been, you know, talking about you or something of that nature. Probably some people that they're around and, you know, they don't like the fact that this person is about to give you exactly whatever this is. This person may have tattoos or permanent makeup. Um, yo, I just want to love you. Um, a new state then i say that moving to a new state somebody saying i'm never letting you go um the person's initials could be k um also they they want you to think bigger in a situation so when um they come to you and they're talking about work or this and a third you're being told to think bigger there's expansion that's happening here in this situation somebody's initials could be a um somebody thinks you're very much a magical being they're calling you baby girl okay um like this person wants you to travel with them because we have Belgium here and I could have swore I think Argentina was there um somebody's initials may be P um person may have a Dodge or GMC um you're you could potentially be one of a con or they think they're one of a con but this person's saying they're proud of you Alabama or Louisiana Louisiana is significant or important um crafting a life that you wish to have and something about structure being significant or important so this may be a very structured very well organized person um either way this the reading hopefully it helps and whoever you are when you get your level up think about your girl thank you <laughs> thank you guys for coming to my channel like comment share subscribe and go with god and congratulations on whoever this is because this seemed like a come up to me so i mean why not <laughs>